Kelvin. Hey. Hey, James. How are you doing? Oh, oh good. Thank you. Welcome to One Town House. You've been here before, right? Yes, yes, yes. I've been here. So, you know, right? Yes. Celebrate yeah, yeah. one of a kind and kindness as an ecosystem. Okay, come on in. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is Hi. Mama in? Yeah, I think she's in. She, she's in the uh, kitchen somewhere. Okay. So, you can see the art belongs to my uncle. He's a UOV painter of the year. Nice. There's innovation built into the house. It's a prototype lab for me. The kids all do a Kickstarter projects here. Speaking of which, here's my uncle painting. <laughs> He's making you work, right, uncle? <laughs> here's a painting That's that I did with Andy painting. Young about Singapore and That's confronting uh, the Statue of Liberty. Is it? Believing in a set of values that we have. Is it for sale? No, it's not for sale. Oh, shit. <laughs> and this is the kitchen. It's the most important part of the house, obviously, right? Yes, yes, yes. You can yes, see yes. it's open, done like a kampong. <laughs> and there's mummy, so mum. Hi, auntie. How are Hi. you doing? Hi. What are you cooking? Yeah. Oh, my favorite. Oh, shit. Okay. Another day, another day. Mm, see, my mom, most most uh, popular Airbnb, Airbnb experience. <laughs> okay, 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 nice. I know she was on Channel News Asia, but today it's all about you, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I know you, but not many people may know of you. But can you tell us a little bit more about your illustrious career? Okay, so I'm a quitter and stay. I left Singapore, came back. Uh, I left the army with four O-levels. I did all the odd jobs like, you know, telemarketing and fast food before I stumbled on to advertising in Ogilvy as traffic. Okay. The lowest position. Then worked my way up to be an account person, writer, went to YNR, then went to Sachi and Sachi when this brash young new create, uh, regional creative director named David Droga yeah. joined. Uh, I was his first hire. We took, uh, I took a 40% pay cut. We shook hands. And I said, okay, uh, after six months, if we didn't work out, I would leave. Um, and the rest was history. We did very well, Agency of the Year internationally. I left Singapore to go to New York to look for a job to challenge myself against the, in the biggest, world's biggest market. Joined Fallon in New York uh, and Minneapolis and then came back to start Fallon in Asia. Uh, before, uh, you know, my last job was at Publicis as the Vice Chairman at Regional CD. So that was how many years ago? Wow, that seems like a lifetime. But I think that journey took about 15 years. Okay, and then you took some time out, right? Before you joined RGA? I took five years out okay. uh, uh, to reinvent myself and to spend time with the kids. Okay, so what's your role right now at RGA? Oh, I'm the uh, executive, regional executive director of growth. So I still do the ideas, but now you're up front and center dealing with clients, talking about how we can solve the business. So your role at RGA is not your typical creative director, ECD, CCO role, right? No, what, I mean, what is the role of an ECD? Uh, it, as, as the businesses move on and they get disrupted, and you know, in the past, advertising communications was uh, a, a large part the solution to a lot of marketing issues mm -hmm. in some ways. But now, if businesses are being disrupted, then comms usually isn't the solution now. You have to look at other means at, at tackling it. And everything is evolving and moving so quick, but then yet our positions don't. That seems a bit odd, right? Right, right. So we hear a lot of talk about business transformation these days, but you have transformed personally, you know. What did you have to go through to, you know, to get to from a creative director to now what? Chief growth officer, right? Right. So I think the, um, the journey for the five years was you, you did a lot of things that were uncomfortable. Uh, you, you, I did uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency where we set up an agency to design branded tokens. Uh, I did ethnographic research where I spent two days with truck drivers in China following them around. And then we launched uh, uh, Linker in China with uh, aiding the, the mar experiential marketing company. So I did all of that, plus doing experience design on this house, uh, figuring out community and figuring out the content and programming and how to reinvent uh, the family and prepare the kids for this uh, 21st century. So what hurdle did you have to go through? Was it challenging to transform of yourself? There's all fear, you know, from uh, whether you're giving up a job at any level, whether you're the top or, or at the bottom, there's always this fear of whether I get the old job back, what will happen. But I think if you take the long view, uh, and if you think exponential change means 20 years from now, medical science will improve to a stage that you've um, uh, lived to 100, then, you know, actually you're doing a mid-timing, 
and then you've still got 30, 40 years. And you can't be 30, 40 years in advertising. You've got mm. to move on. Mm. So you've got to reinvent. Yeah. And also you're setting an example to the kids where if they live to 150 years old, their careers will be constantly disrupted. So the best thing is you show them that it's okay. Mm. This, this, this um, uncertainty is actually the, the new normal. I know, right? So tell me one thing because I've known you for years. But tell me one thing I don't know about Kevin So. Wow, okay, so the late, <laughs> the late Pat Fallon, he did this ra rather nice video for me. Uh, it's on YouTube, you can search for okay. Pat Fallon and Kevin So, where he talks at length about how small a certain uh, body part of mine is. <laughs> okay, Kevin, I don't need to, that image in my mind. Right? <laughs> you asked, right? You asked, so I had to tell okay. you. Okay, moving on, moving on. Can you tell me one person that has impacted you most in your life? I think my grandparents, I mean, mm. they, they moved in this house with uh, uh, 12 kids and my mom's the eldest and, and we have 15 people. We were quite poor even though we had this house. But I, I think the sense of laughter, love and creativity and optimism. I mean, after all, my grandparents had my mom in 1943 at the height of the Japanese occupation. So at the height, they mm. can still think about uh, be optimistic and then still have time for sex. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, back again to that. Uh, one last question before I take my leave. One piece of advice to people out there when it comes to personal transformation. What is that advice you'd like to give? So if you're a creative person, you just need to understand the business is changing. People are blocking your ads, right? Um, so when you look at stuff now like director's reels or, or photograph photographer's book, you should be actually looking at uh, startups, VCs, mm and all the new business ideas that are coming out. Those are yeah. where the solutions are. And then the second thing is uh, you've, you've got to keep uh, reinventing yourself and then understanding that this, this career and this whole industry will keep moving on. If the consultants are coming, then there's a role to be a creative consultant. Yes. You know, and the ECD role would have to evolve. Yeah. It can't stay the same. Well, on that note, Kelvin, I think we have to have another time where we can really sit down and have a chat. Okay. Right? But today I'll take my leave. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. And I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, you've been here. Yeah, right? yeah. Don't yeah, need to. Yeah, yeah, don't need Next time you come, go run, run wow. down. Okay? Run okay, down. okay. On. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Nice having you. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah.